Hello, Dan Rooks here from howtomechatronics.com. In this Arduino tutorial, we will learn how to use the HC12 wireless serial communication module, which is capable of making a long-range wireless communication between multiple Arduino boards with distances up to 1.8 kilometers. For this tutorial, I made two basic examples explaining how to connect the HC12 module and make a basic communication between two Arduinos and an additional example where using an accelerometer sensor at the first Arduino, I wirelessly control the position of a stepper motor at the second Arduino. So first let's take a closer look at the HC12 wireless serial port communication module. Its wireless working frequency band is from 432.4 MHz to 473 MHz and it has a total of 100 channels with a stepping of 400 kHz between each channel. The transmitting power is from minus 1 to 20 dB mV while the receiving sensitivity is from minus 170 to minus 100 decibel millivolts. These values actually depend on the selected serial or over-the-air bolt rate as seen in the table. The HT12 module has a microcontroller, which actually doesn't have to be programmed by the user. For configuring the module, we simply use 80 commands which can be sent from an Arduino, a PC or any other microcontroller using the serial port. For entering the AT command mode, we just have to set the set pin of the module to low logic level. Ok, now let's connect the HC12 module to the Arduino and make the first example. Here's the circuit schematic. The operating voltage of the module is from 3.2 volts to 5.5 volts and for more stable work it is recommended to use a decoupling capacitor and an external power supply. However, I use the PC USB as power for all three examples in this tutorial and I didn't have any problem with it. I connected the first module to an Arduino Uno and the second module to an Arduino Mega. But of course, you can use any board you want. Here's the Arduino code for the first example, a basic communication between two modules using the serial monitor. The same code is used for both Arduinos. We can connect the two Arduinos on two separate computers, but we can also use a single computer. In this case, once we connect the first Arduino to the computer, we need to select the model and the COM port and upload the code to the Arduino. Then we connect the second Arduino and we have to start the Arduino IDE again in order to be able to select the other COM port to which our second Arduino is connected and then upload the same code. So once we have the two Arduino IDEs running, we can start the serial monitors and test whether the communication works properly. Anything we type in the serial monitor will be sent from one to the other Arduino. Let's take a look at the code to see how it works. So once we type something in the serial monitor and click the send button at the first Arduino, the while loop with the serial.available function will become true and using the hc12.write function we will send the data from the serial monitor to the hc12 module. This module will transfer the data wirelessly to the second HC12 module. So at the second Arduino, the while loop with the HC12.available function will become true and using the serial.write function, the data will be sent to the serial monitor. We can use the same code for sending 80 commands and configuring the module parameters. All we have to do is connect the set pin of the module to ground or any digital pin of the Arduino and set the pin to low logic level. To test whether we have successfully entered the 80 command mode, in the serial monitor we can type 80 and we should get a response message OK. There are a total of 12 80 commands and they are used for changing various parameters like the baud rate, the communication channel, the transmitting power and so on. For example, if we type 80 plus B38400, the baud rate of the module will be set to 38400. 
Now let's move to the second example. Here we will use two push buttons for selecting different communication channels and see how we can store the incoming data. So first we need to define the pins and set the set pin to high logic level in order the module to work in normal transparent mode. With the first while loop we store the incoming data into a string variable so we can better handle it. The incoming data always comes one byte at a time. So for example if we send the string test123 from the second Arduino, the while loop will do 7 iterations. Each iteration using the hc12.read function, we will read each incoming byte or character and add it to the string variable named read buffer. Next, let's see how we can change the communication channel using the first push button. So if we press the first push button using the hc12.print function, we will send the string 80 plus C001 to the hc12 module or the second Arduino. When this string will be received at the second Arduino, we will set the hc12 module into 80 command mode and then write the same string 80 plus C001 to it which will set the module to communication channel number 1. We use the next while loop to print the response message from the HC12 module whether the channel has been successfully changed. Back at the first Arduino, we do the same procedure of sending the 80 command to the first HC12 module to activate the communication channel number 2. In the same way, using the second push button, we set the communication channel number 2 to both modules. So, using this method, we can select at any time with which HC12 module we will communicate. At the end, the check80 command custom function checks whether the received message is an 80 command by checking whether the string starts with 80. If so, the module enters the 80 command mode and executes the command received from the other Arduino. Now, let's take a look at the third example. Here we control the position of the stepper motor at the second Arduino using the accelerometer module at the first Arduino. The circuit also contains a micro switch for finding the initial position of the stepper motor at 0 degrees. Note here that I already have detailed tutorials on how to connect and use both the accelerometer and the stepper motor, so for this example I will only explain the HC12 part of the code. So first we need to define the pins and some variables and initialize the modules in the setup section. Then we read the values of the x and y axis of the accelerometer and map them to values from 0 to 180 degrees. The values coming from the accelerometer can sometimes be unstable or shaky. So for smoothing the result I use the average value from 100 readings. For even further smoothing, I will send the new value of the angle only if it differs from the previous one by 2 degrees. Note here that when I am sending the angle to the HC12 module, I am also sending the character S in front and the character E after, which will help me when receiving the data at the second Arduino. Here we wait until the start marker S come and then we read the value of the angle until the end marker E arrive. This way we are sure that we will receive only the value of the angle. Then we convert the angle value to integer and map the values from 0 to 1600 steps which corresponds to the selected 16 step resolution at the 84988 stepper driver. At the end we rotate the stepper motor to the current angle. So that would be all for this tutorial, but you can always find more details on the website article. Don't forget to subscribe and for more tutorials and projects visit howtomechatronics.com.